My name is the Reverend Dr. Carmen Lansdowne, moderator of the United Church of Canada. Many people in our denomination have taken the time and care to write to me, to the General Secretary, or to the Executive of the General Council, urging us to take action in the name of a just and lasting peace for the Middle East. The purpose of this message is not to get into the specifics of what is happening between the State of Israel and Palestinians, but to take a moment to reflect together on how we do political advocacy as a church. We often get invitations, requests, or pleas to do something in the name of justice and as Christians, and we often do. You can visit the United Church website to see the list of actions that we've been taking regarding this crisis since October 7th. The link is in the description of this video on YouTube. In April 2023, I traveled to Ottawa with church leaders from the Evangelical Lutheran, Anglican, and Presbyterian churches in Canada to bring attention to the worsening situation in the Holy Land. We asked members of Parliament to take seriously the concerns of Palestinians living under increasingly oppressive conditions in the occupied territories and to urge Canadian political and diplomatic engagement in a just and lasting peace for all in the Holy Land. We heard two things from those we met in Ottawa. The first is that anything we could do in partnership is better than something we could do alone as a church, consistent with the affirmation of mending the world. So we join our voices to other denominations, to organizations like Kairos Canada, the Canadian Council of Churches, the World Council of Churches, and many others. The second is that the more constituents write to their elected representatives, the bigger the impact. It's not enough for me to write a letter on behalf of the United Church of Canada. Every member who cares about the humanitarian crisis and a lasting and just peace in the region should be writing to their member of parliament. We have traditionally relied on the power of the Office of the Moderator and General Secretary and the established practice of staff writing thoughtful background papers and impactful statements. But you can also write as an individual, and I hope you do. And I hope you identify yourself as a member of the United Church. You can fill in your name and address, and then you'll get access to text for a letter to your MP. The link to this tool is in the description of this video. The letter will be emailed to your MP based on your postal code and to the Honorable Melanie Jolie, Minister of Foreign Affairs. It's important that you take some time to edit the letter, even just a little bit. When you change the text of the letter, adding your voice, the letter is unique and it won't be ignored and pushed aside as a form letter by the scanning software used by their email systems. The Government of Canada won't trust that a letter from me or the General Secretary represents all of you and they're inviting us to tell them in 300,000 different ways how we feel about policy issues. You could also send a handwritten or typed letter and post it by mail to your MP and Minister Jolie. As in many other situations like this one, we have an emergency appeal for financial assistance to partners regarding this humanitarian crisis. I can't stress this enough, your help is urgently needed please take a few minutes out of your day to support the ACT Alliance and Mission and Service Partners in Palestine and Israel, responding to the urgent needs of civilians in Palestine and Israel. The link in the description of this video on YouTube will take you to our Pray, Donate and Advocate page, where you can share your voice with the Government of Canada on this current crisis and donate to the Emergency Appeal. Your donation will help us to reach civilians in need. The peace and freedom of Israelis and Palestinians are intertwined. We need to show the government of Canada that we care for our global siblings and for the diasporic communities living here in Canada. This struggle for a just peace will continue until there's freedom for all. Please join your voice to mine and take the time to write to your MP and to the Minister of Foreign Affairs.